Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at the official Dubfest ROM Android 15 for our nothing phone one. So, without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is the official Dubfest ROM based on Android 15. So, let's move into settings and see the details. So, moving to about phone. Down here, moving into Android version. It says Android 15. It says the Derp Fist banner. Then, as you can see, this is the official build, and this is the 16th of February build, which is the latest update, which I have updated through the updater. So, yes, it supports OT updates, and you can see the maintainer name. So, thanks for, uh, thanks to them for maintaining this ROM, and we also do get the latest February 5, 2025 security patch. So, guys, this is the home screen. You can customize uh, wallpapers. You get some stock Derp Fist wallpapers, which can take a look at so yeah i don't know why the wallpaper uh, app took a lot of time but these are the what the first wallpapers the default wallpaper is kind of different it's not present in here i don't know but it has only been sticked to as a default wallpaper and you cannot uh, you know reapply it after it has been changed you can apply these uh, wallpapers after that and i have applied a custom wallpaper to match with the widget so that's how it looks so guys the is based on the lineage os but we don't get the default lineages launcher we get some modified launcher as you can see so this is not definitely trebuchet it is called as a derp launcher and you get all of the functions uh, you can see uh, you can change the icon stuff the home screen you can see you can apply a lot of customizations on the home screen if you want a dark status bar you can also choose that so you can uh, obviously get the colors out popped as dark and you can also uh, just disable that and as you can see it uh, is showing the white color which is sometimes difficult if you have set a wallpaper like me so you can just go again push out the dark and as you can see you can see the status bar icons properly uh, without even having any issues then you can see hot seat background then you can add an hot seat to the dock it will apply uh, a restart to the uh, launcher maybe you'll just uh, need to unlock the phone again yeah so it has added a you know transparent translucent uh, background to the dock so it will stand out and will create a distance between the wallpaper and the uh, dock apps then you can customize the app draw and you can see themed icons, app search bar, draw labels into, uh, sorry, into the recents. You can configure the recents and you can see you can add memory info, which like I have added uh, to, uh, sorry, the launcher has restarted again. I don't know why I did not even enable anything, but as you can see, you have the memory info down here, uh, which is enabled in the restart. Then you have background opacity. You have compact action design screenshot lens and you can add all of these action buttons then you have miscellaneous stuff you have background blur depth you have suggestions and you have the restart to you know manually apply some stuff if you have changed it and this is the about section and you can see all the team for which uh, they have helped helped and it is based on the normal asp launcher so that's a great work done by the derp team now let's take a look at the settings present uh, the settings and features and as you can see this is the settings ui of android 15 so we get google pinned at the top then connectivity personalization security uh, system stuff and uh, lately the information then first you can see you have glyph interface and glyph interface works fine you can control the brightness you can lower it and higher it and you can enable the glyph lights you have the all the settings presented uh, towards the glyph lights then we have music visualizer which you can also turn on during music and all the glyph lights will you know get to the beats then you have display and you have lock screen and moving to the lock screen you have you have all the stuff uh, you have unlock animation you have always on display and it also works fine as you can see yeah so that's how it is let me unlock the device then we have long press on fingerprint sensor to unlock we have music ticker we have swipe to wake and then coming down we have monet personalization you can change the theme for me the default is fine and also guys into the dark theme i have enabled the pure black so that's why it looks like that and you guys can enable that too uh, we have override force dark we have display size in text we have live display by lineage os we have colors uh, options you can 
tweak the color standard boosted saturated and adaptive so we have these five options then going down we have all the basic linear stuff we have the double tap to wake which is pre-enabled and i have tap to wake too so it like has gotten into you know a connection where both of them does not work at a same time so you have to disable one so if you are someone who is going to watch out for notifications on your device by single tapping then it's not for you if you're using the always on display so that's uh, one thing for you but yeah you can customize it accordingly uh, to your need now moving into wallpaper and style we go inside we go into lock screen and you can see a lot of clock styles so you can customize uh, from them and it's according to the wallpaper you set or maybe whatever customization you do the lock screen so that's this is this is the one for me then you have icon customization you can change the overall system icons then you have font and you can change the font uh, you can select the system font uh, I have selected this uh, I don't what is this uh, circular STD so standard so you can set that also fingerprint animations are present so you can set that for me the basic ones is like all right uh, going down we have more lock screen options and we uh, get directly into the lock screen stuff now there are some more customizations regarding the wi-fi and signal icon which you can find in network and internet then you have to move it down here you can see wi-fi icon and signal icon and you can change it to your favorite Wi-Fi and signal icons. As you can see, these are the icons present. So this is one hidden settings right inside the Wi-Fi option, the connectivity options. Now regarding sound and vibration, we get the same stuff from Lineage. And uh, yeah, all this you can see here. You have Pulse and you can enable that. You can enjoy music that way. Then other than that, Smart Pause we have and yeah that was it and we also do have uh, the volume panel you can see the expanded volume panel like this so yep and uh, yes we have live captions you can change uh, and enable or disable charging sound charging vibration tap and click sounds and now lastly moving into system we have navigation mode we have gesture navigation and you can also hide IME space so this is really nice you get the whole screen experience without any issues regarding the space which is uh, you know you know in the bottom of the screen it eats a lot of space then we have hide gesture bar and yeah these are the options we get in the navigation gestures and then we have gestures your normal gestures quick tap you have open camera quickly open camera with the power button then one handed mode tap to check phone which is the one i like and i keep the always on display off so i just tap and check the phone for notifications or the time so this is a nice feature let me unlock it again then swipe to screenshot double tap to check so it will uh, do a pulse thing then we have status bar and you can customize your status bar icons you can customize the system icons too enable and disable a lot of stuff and uh, battery indicator and oh, sorry these are the options you get basic options not uh you know it's highly customizable but yeah something over the lineage os you get and we also do get the derfest ot updater which i have tested it with the latest recent build and it works totally fine so it's a thumbs up from my side and guys that's it for the video for the derfest now this is the rom the performance battery is really nice i mean for the custom ROM preference, uh, it's a good a battery life. You might get a whole day lasted with uh, like four to five hours of screen on time. Now, if you are a heavy user, your battery might end out in the middle of the day and not totally middle. Uh, your work hours will be fine, but after reaching home, you need to charge the battery. But if you are a normal user like me who don't play a lot of games, like I do not play games at all. So if you don't play games at all, you watch content, you have Instagram on, you have a lot of chats on whatsapp you have work to do with the phone then you can easily last it for a day and you get almost about the maximum i got was five and a half hours of screen on time so you can get that but the more you use it uh, the battery will end so that is the idle time is not that well on the custom roms right now with android 15 so maybe some fix the kernel some powering and scheduling the things are done to the kernel it will work fine but yeah nothing one battery is like that only so 
that is acceptable in terms of battery and performance is top notch so you can play games like you play on stock rom so there's nothing like that you also get the stock nothing OS camera you can do a lot of stuff with that so yep that was it and guys about the installation the installation is similar to lineage os which for what i have made a separate video on lineage os you can check that out here and if you want lineage os you can use that but if you feel lineage os has a bit uh, you know uh, less of UI customization stuff then you can try the Derp Fest which is also close to stock but with the hidden customization stuff so for that you can choose Derp Fest and it's official so you get OT updates regularly all the fixes and a good support group so that is it for the video for installation check out this video I'm just telling it again and that's it goodbye if you guys like the video press the like button if not then dislike button for the subscription like not the subscription kind of payment stuff but just subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more videos on the nothing phone one and some other devices on my channel too if you have them or not just watch it for fun but that's it for all the feedback and comments choose the comment section and all the files and all the things are in the description with detailed installation instructions and for a video instruction again i'm telling you to go to the lineage OS video also to watch that video <laughs> that's my main motive so goodbye guys bye see you guys soon with another video of the nothing phone one goodbye